everyone, I'm Anna Velosky. First came the mosquitoes, then the flies. They're everywhere, buzzing around your TV set, buzzing around your head. They're annoying and won't leave you alone. So why do they do it and what the heck do they want? Let's break it down. There are more than 150,000 species of flies in more than 150 different insect families. And all of them, except for the fruit flies, are quite attracted to us in like a stage five clinger kind of way. Mm. If it's the mosquito or horsefly, they're basically after your blood. The house flies usually like sugary liquids for food, but they'll basically land on anything that's sitting out, including you. And they're not just annoying, they also could be quite dangerous. They carry a lot of different diseases, some potentially deadly, including typhoid fever, salmonella, tuberculosis, conjunctivitis, leprosy, cholera, and intestinal worms. They feed and reproduce on garbage, feces, and rotting flesh. Think about it, every time a fly lands on your coffee mug, it could be spreading a ton of germs with its hairy little legs. Ew. So given that we generally don't smell or look like a pile of poop, why do flies like to land on humans? The truth is, they like the human body, just like some of their favorite foods. They see it as warmth and nourishment. They don't necessarily want to bite you, but they do want to suck up the salt, dead skin, oil, and whatever else they might find on your epidermis. Keep in mind, flies have a fantastic sense of smell, and their eyes basically cover their entire body, so they're constantly on the prowl. So now that you know you're wanted, how do you stay off the fly's radar? Easy, get a cat. Just kidding, that's quite the investment. But if you do have a cat, that's great because they're quite the little hunters. If you don't, during fly season, you should never keep any food out too long empty your garbage frequently, and keep an eye out on where Fido likes to go to the bathroom. Dog poop is practically like an all-you-can-eat buffet for flies. I know, I've lost my appetite too. You should obviously keep windows and doors closed and consider fly traps. To see more stories like this, like us on Facebook, visit our website, acsh.org. Don't forget while you're there, you can sign up for all your latest health news delivered straight to your inbox. For the council, I'm Anna Dolosky.